Right, okay guys, uh, third time I'm trying to do this video because uh, Molly just continuously keeps barking and messing it up so hopefully I'll get more than about a minute into it before she starts barking again. Uh, right, so this uh, video is going to be what gaming channels have I been watching. Um, I thought I'd do this because there's a few that I've been watching over the... I mean I've watched virtually everybody in the community but there's ones in particular that I go back to constantly you know, and watch every single video they bring out. So um, I thought I'd just highlight a few, just in case anybody who's uh, sub to this channel hasn't come across their stuff, so that way you can go over and check their stuff out because it's really good. So, and it's all, all different types. It, you know, it's gaming, but, you know, it's all different aspects of it. So, um, right, so first one, Sega Zombie. Um, I imagine most people that are sub to me probably know a Sega Zombie. But I'm going to mention anyway, just in case you're not. Um, yeah, Scott, he, he's, his videos are great to watch. I love watching his videos. Um, he's very enthusiastic. He's, he seems to really enjoy what he does and always entertaining. Um, he loves his Sega as well, which obviously I love my Mega Drive. So, you know, there's there's that commonality as well. Um, and just recently, and this is the funny part, his uh, missus has started introducing Nintendo into his gaming room because um, she's recently got a Game Boy. So, um, yes, it's quite interesting. He's been bringing his missus onto the videos and that. So it's, it's, it's good. And it's, it's, like I said, very enthusiastic. Like, and that's why I like watching it. Um, yeah, you, you don't feel like he's doing it as a chore, like he feels like he has to do it. He does it because he generally loves what he's doing. And that's what makes it good to watch. And I, I, I love watching his videos. I don't ever miss one, so... Yeah, so great channel. Um, while, I, while I'm saying these, I will link all these below so you can go over and sub to them if you haven't already. Um, right, next one, Danestar. Um, now, I'll keep looking down because I've got notes. There's, there's a few I've got here and I've wrote little bits down so I don't forget. So, yeah, Danestar. Um, basically, he's been doing a thing called Live From Lockdown. Um, I missed the first lot he did when we had the very first lockdown um because we were fairly new just getting going we we started when lock well just after lockdown started the first time so we wasn't aware of danestra at that point but obviously since we have been and we've been watching his live from lockdowns and um yeah always good to watch always got great guests on there um and the other thing with danestra is what you see is what you get there's no there's no sort of um he, he, you know, he doesn't choreographer anything. He doesn't. He, he's not one of these guys that pretends to be something he's not. He is who he is, and if you don't like that, tough. Like, and and that's what I like about it. And and also when he does his life in lockdown, he has some really good guests on. Um, yeah, uh, he he basically does his life in lockdown at the moment. He's doing it on Saturday nights. Although I did hear the original lot he did, he was doing every night. So. Yeah, he was massively busy then, if that was the case. But, yeah, with these ones, he's doing every Saturday night. Um, I think only once he might have shifted the day, but it's always Saturday night, pretty much. Um, yeah, and because he's had some great guests on, I mean, some guests he's had on that I'm already sub to, and then others uh, I haven't been. Um, and, and we'll get to one of them, actually, in a minute. Um, so, yeah, he, he's, he's also currently hosting this week um battle of the birds at 9 p.m on his channel um and that goes that's going on it started last night at 10 and it's going on until thursday but it'll be nine o'clock as of monday like today so um yes yeah, so there's another four nights of it um basically if you don't already know there's two channels feed me chicken and game zone bird room and they're having a bit of a feud over youtube and so they're battling it out in games and uh last night it was um, Paperboy they played. And Dainster's obviously the referee, and he's sitting there in his referee T-shirt, so it's all really funny as well. Um, Feed Me Chicken, if you don't know his channel, he, he's a guy that wears a chicken mask. And, of course, now Game Zone Birdroom's now wearing a parrot mask. So it's, it's all very entertaining. And it's it's got like a kind of um, wrestling sort of vibe to it. They've been doing promos and things like that. So it's quite fun to watch, you know. So, um, 
yeah so that's what's going on on there at the moment so if you go on there you'll you'll catch that as of uh, 9 p.m as of tonight uh if you missed last night's one that's that was at 10 o'clock but you'll find that on Dainster's channel so just go and check it out so yeah so that's Dainster. and like i said just then um some of the guests he's had on i found through watching his stuff his live streams and one of them in particular was nintendo arcade now the interesting thing was I'd subbed to Nintendo Arcade, but I don't think I'd actually watched anything. I, I follow so many people, sometimes they get lost in the mix. And, um, yeah, it went until he was on there and they was, they was talking about some things that he'd been doing. And um, basically it come up about a Skyskipper and, and how he'd gone through this journey of um, basically restoring it. He had a, a PCB for it. It was one of the original ones. and It's very rare. And he was going on about this entire journey and Dainster mentioned how he enjoyed watching his playlist of it. And so I headed over there and, and I've, I've watched a few. And yeah, really good to watch. Um, and I, I could watch his stuff for hours. Um, very knowledgeable. He knows a lot about this sort of stuff, especially the arcade side of it. He knows a lot of stuff. And and it's just very entertaining. And and he does his stuff really well as well. It's... Um, when you see like the little, um, what do you call them, uh, like interludes between each each cutscene, it's almost like you're watching a TV program. So it's done really well. So, um, yeah, and um, oh, yeah, I really like watching his stuff. So, if you, if, especially if you like your arcade cabs and things like that, go over check him out. And like I say, it's mainly Nintendo stuff. I, I so far I haven't seen anything else. Um, but yeah, go over and check him out. It's, it's really good stuff. Right, okay. Next one, Mike Shedd. Now, I've mentioned Mike Shedd before. Obviously, Mike is <laughs> he's the guy that does it. And it's in a shed. Um, and he, he's a bit like us. He, he don't just do gaming. He covers like the movie side of it. He does his pick-up videos. And in his pick-up videos, you know, he's picked up movies, collectibles... Um, games and you know he does all this in his shed and and actually he, he should have a lot more subs than he's got I'll, I'll be honest um, I'm trying to think how many he's hovering around I think he's, when I looked I think he was on 112 he should have more than that I think he's very good and and when you watch his stuff he, he he'll, he'll tell you a little story around it so you're not just getting oh, I've got this I've got this I've got this you'll get why he's got it you know like he'll say Oh, I remember this back in the day when I was a kid and I really enjoyed it and and I've been looking for it for years and then I found it. See, you, you'll get a story. Um, quite often he'll refer to it in his videos about, oh, I'm going off on a tangent, but it's the tangents I think that people like. I, mean, I know that's what I like. I like to know why these people have got these things. So, yeah, it's always good to watch. And like I say, it's not just gaming. He covers movies and that. You know, we, we chuck a bit of that in here and there. Obviously not so much lately because there isn't really anything in terms of movies because of COVID. But but yeah, so, you know, he, he, he should have more subs. He should. So if you're not subbed to him, go over and sub him because he's, he's a great guy and he, he should have more subs. Right. Okay. Moving on. UK Kraut Gaming. Now, basically, the best way to put it for UK Kraut Gaming is he has got a huge collection. Um... He's got so many consoles, and he's always buying more as well. Uh, just recently, he bought an old uh, Philips. Uh, I forget the name of it now. I, I forget the name of it, but it's an old Philips game system. Uh, the one that had the cartridges that go in with a handle. You pick one of them up, and they're not cheap. I mean, I've had a look, and they're, they're about 120 quid, these. A years old. And, and the funny thing is, is actually, when you look at them, they actually... In terms of graphics and that, uh, I think they are a step ahead of the Ataris. So, they, they you know, obviously it is an old system. I mean, we're talking early 80s, but it's, you know, it's quite impressive. And, and again, he's got a large knowledge of what he does. He, he knows this stuff. And his room, he's just got consoles everywhere. And we're not just talking about home consoles. We're talking about handhelds. He's got all sorts. Um, and they're just all around him as well. That's the other thing. It doesn't look like he's got much room, and it's probably because of the amount of stuff he's got in there with him. But, um, yeah, and this guy is single-handedly 
responsible for me getting the Evercade because he, he did so many videos on it and I kept watching them and, and he's very entertaining as well he's, he's, you know he draws you right in and I kept watching his videos and I thought this device looks great I'm going to have to get this and the more and more I watched his stuff the more and more games he was playing on it and I thought that's it I've got to get one you know, so, so it's your fault <laughs> I've ended up with one of these so but yeah great stuff um yeah, so if you're not sub to him, go over and watch his stuff because he covers so many different things. You, you, you know, there's always something new. You never quite know whether it's going to be a Dreamcast thing or an Evercade thing or, or an Atari Lynx thing. There's always something different. So, yeah, go and check him out. Right, okay. Then we'll move on to Retro Chef. Yeah, Retro Chef. And... It's, you know, it's natural. I've, I've got a sub to a retro chef. He's got the same first name as me, Lee. <laughs> it has to be done. No, it's not just because of that. Um, he, he's doing, um, he does a stream every every two weeks on a Sunday. Swap shop. Um, obviously, he, when you look at the little um, thumbnail, it's, it's based, the idea of it is sort of nicked from the old... Uh, 1976 TV show. I think Noel Edmonds did the TV show, if I remember right. Um, yeah, so basically what he does, he has a panel of guests on. Everyone's in the chat as well. And it's just a place where collectors, gamers, etc. can trade. In some cases, I think they even, you know, exchange money for items as well, I think. But the idea of it mainly is to trade. And, yeah, it's, it's good to watch. I mean, he always has some great guests on there as well. And in fact, funny enough, a few of the guests he's had on actually are ones that I've been mentioning here. So, and a, a lot of these guests he does have on, they have bits from all sorts, and some of them are obscure things as well that you don't always come across. So, um, like just recently, he's had he had um, retro bait on, and um, there was you know Commodore sixty four Spectrum and all these sort of you know the old tapes. You know, and there was lots of trades going on with that. So, yeah, it was really good to watch. Um, which leads me into the next one, which is Retro Bait. Now, uh, Retro Bait, Paul, um, I've been watching his channel for quite some time because he, he's he got quite a lot of, quite a few systems. It's all in a shed, very similar to Mike's shed in that respect. But his collection is very big. Um, his main concentration at the moment is his microcomputers, you know, like his Spectrum, the Amstrad, C64, uh, mainly the C64. And that's why I love watching his channel, because as you know, through watching our channel, you'll know that the first computer I ever had was a C64. I love my, I loved the Commodore 64. It was a great machine. And and he's got he's even got more than one of them. That's the funny thing. And... He's, he's even got the um, Amstrad console they released as well. You know, he's, he's got some very rare, rare stuff. Um, I think he's got the Commodore 64 with the silver on the... That's quite a rare one, I think, these days. So, yeah, and he gets a lot of homebrew stuff as well in, like, that they're releasing. Because they're still releasing homebrew stuff for these old machines, you know. So, and he's been showing them on it. And the reason why I, I led from Retro Chef into Retro Bait was because... Retro Bait was on Retro Chef's swap shop, so which was nice. It was nice to see him on there. So I mean, like I said, I've been following him for quite some time, but um, that's the first time I'd seen him on a stream in you know, like in the forefront. So it was nice to see. And and he, you know, he, obviously he's got some pretty unusual things. You know, stuff you don't see so much. A lot of channels do follow more more the uh, console side of things and he's he does more the microcomputer side of things so it's nice you know it's, there's a good variation there so yeah so if you if you're not sub to retro bait why aren't you you know get over there so and he's a great guy as well he really is right next one Jordan slasher gaming yeah mark great guy um and I'll, I'll say this at the beginning before we get into why um just recently, and I won't say what it is because I want to do it in a Pickers video, but he, he kindly sent me something um, just recently. He did mention it a few months ago. Uh, he was going to send it. And then his uh, channel got hacked and um, he had to start all over again, but it took a couple of months for him to get going again. So, of course, in that time, I totally forgot about it. And just out of the blue, he, he 
emailed me and said, oh, I'm going to send that thing over. And I was like, oh, yeah, cheers. I forgot all about that. And it, it come through a few days ago. So, um, so number one, if you're watching this, Mark, big thank you. I'm not going to say what it is because I say I want to do that in a pickups video. So I'll mention it then. But yeah, um, really nice of him. And the item he sent me as well, I'm pretty certain it's not that cheap. So, and he just sent it to me for nothing. So yeah, it was really great, really nice. So, and I'm glad to have it as well. It's something nice to go in the collection. So, um, so yeah, anyway, other than that, um, so he always does these great pickups videos and, and I do sometimes wonder where he gets all his money from because a lot of these pickups he gets, they're, they're not cheap. Um, he's buying a lot of Switch stuff um, and, you know, a lot of the Switch stuff I've seen him showing, they're, they, they're not cheap. So, um, he's, I think he recently picked up, yeah, he picked up an Evercade, I think, as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got all of them now. Um, but yeah, he, he does quite a few pickups videos and I like watching them. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Like, when I watch his stuff, I, I relax. I think it's, maybe it's because he's Geordie, I don't know. Like, he, he just, I don't know, I just mellow out when I'm watching his stuff. It, 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 I think it's the accent. Like, when I watch his stuff, I just relax, sit back chill watch his stuff see what he's got always good and also the other reason is he loves bro bro Falls, which is a game that i really enjoy uh we did a couple of videos of it last year and that's a good game and yeah he's been streaming it live with gib 84 so yeah so he, he's he's got a lot of interest similar to what i like so that, that's the other reason why i like watching his stuff so and again you know very real guy he, he, you know there's no bells and whistles he, he is who he is and that's what he does and that's that's why it's good to watch you know he's not putting a show on so right okay uh right this one i've mentioned before roller core yeah eddie if, if you're not following roller core why aren't you <laughs> you know like everybody in the community knows who eddie is um you know he talks to everybody he's a nice guy again very knowledgeable and he's got a, a great games room i mean it, when you look at his videos he's got games all around him and it's just shells all the way around and and also he loves star wars um i think i don't know if he likes the sequel trilogy i mean i love my star wars i hate the sequel trilogy i don't know if he likes the sequels but he is a star wars fan so that's another reason why i like to watch him but um yeah and he, he always gets these like well i say always he, most of the time he gets these rare sort of uh japanese like imported games and some of these things i would never have even heard of until he, he mentions them i mean half the time i you know he, he holds it up it's got all japanese writing he knows what it's called like <laughs> you know i'm looking and i'm like well, it's just japanese i've got no idea so but you know and he, he'll go through why he likes it and stuff and and it's just good because he he tends to show stuff that not everybody else does so i always enjoy watching his stuff um yeah, his game room is quite impressive. His collection's impressive. Um, he re recently, uh, uh, not so long back, he purged all his Xbox 360. Um, now, I, I actually do enjoy the Xbox 360. And I've still got one. In fact, I've got two. Um, so, at one stage, he did get in contact with me to see if there was anything I wanted. But mostly what he had left, there wasn't really anything there that I was really that interested in. But it was nice of him to ask. And, and again, you know, this is Eddie. He's a nice guy. So... So yeah, go over, you know, give him a sub, watch his stuff, he's great. Right, Dad and Lads Gaming. Marcus and Tommy. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I I watch these guys for a very different reason to a lot of the others that I watch. And that's that their channel is hilarious. I, I, I Every time I watch their stuff, I've got a smile on my face because it's so funny. Um, before we get to why it is, um, he's got a very, again, a very impressive games room. I don't know how big his house is, but it must be huge. Like <laughs> this room, he's got it, it. He's got all these shelves going around with all these games on, but it, it don't look cluttered. It looks enormous, like <laughs> you know. So, and he and he's got so many systems. I mean, he must have everything that's out. Like surely, um, you know. I know for a fact when I've seen some of his uh, videos. I think he did a, a room tour at one point. He had an Amiga, he had an Atari ST, um, he's got X, he's got an Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, I think he's got a PSP. I mean, the list goes on, he's got everything. 
And when you look in the background of his videos, you can see them all on the shelves. There's, there's just stuff everywhere. And clearly just loves his games and loves collecting. And the other thing with him is he does his pickups videos with his son, Tommy. But he also does a video where he tells you what he's been playing as well. And I always like that as well, because quite often they show some gameplay. So if there's any games that I weren't sure on, you know, or oh, I don't know where to get that, if it comes up on his, I can see it. Oh, actually, that looks quite good. And then, you know, you go off and you pick it up. So it's good like that as well. Um, he'll tell you what he thinks of it. And if he thinks it's good, he'll tell you. If he thinks it's rubbish, he'll tell you. So, but the thing that makes him hilarious, and this is why I love watching this stuff time and time again, is because him and Tommy, the banter, yeah, oh, it's great. Like, it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's like the typical father-son relationship. Only they, only they do it on camera. <laughs> and that's what's funny. Nine times out of ten, he'll start the videos taking the mickey out of Tommy for something. So, I mean, one of the ones I watched recently is where he, he passes a beer to Tommy and Tommy drinks a bit and then just goes, oh, it's disgusting, like that. And then he starts winding him up over it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it is funny. And and I, I always end up saying it I've, under their videos, like, used to are hilarious. Because they are. Like, it, it just makes you smile. It makes you giggle. It, it's really good to watch. Very entertaining. And, and the thing is, they just seem to be naturally funny. I don't think they're intending to be, but they are. And that, that's what makes you keep going back, you know. So, yeah, keep up what you're doing, guys, because it's great. I love watching it. And if you anyone watching this is not sub to them, definitely go over and sub them. They are really good. They're funny. You won't regret it. And if you're having a down day, watch one of their videos. Trust me, you won't be down for long. It's really funny stuff. Right, and then we go on to the last one. Now, this is another one that's very different to the other channels I said about. And that's Goodwin's Place. Oh, yeah, I love watching his videos. Um, he's, like a, he's like a mad scientist, like, like a genius. Like, he, he fixes his old systems. And I watch some of his stuff and I'm like, how did he do that? Like, you know, and, and it's very inspiring as well because, because of what he does... When I had problems with the Mega Drive controllers and that, I felt very um, confident that I could repair it because I'd seen a video where he did one on um, a Neo Geo controller. And and it's because like, where I've watched his stuff, and I do like fixing things, I do. Um, yeah, you know, I like working out how you do something. And then once you've fixed it and restored it, you feel like you've achieved something. And I love that. And... But I, I haven't always been that confident when it comes to things like computers because you can so easily mess things up. But through watching these videos and seeing some of the stuff he does, it's like, ah, oh, right, okay. So that can't be too different to what he's done there. So maybe I can do that, you know? And, I mean, the difference is, is that he clearly is a genius and knows what he's doing with this stuff. I don't. <laughs> so, but, yeah, um, he's so good at fixing stuff. I've seen videos where he's modded stuff as well, and that's another thing because I... I like, you know, I like the idea of modding certain things if it makes them better or, you know, or improves it. And I've seen some of the things he's done. And speaking of mods, one of the things he's done recently is actually something I, I mentioned a while back on my channel. I re, uh, you know, a few months back I picked up a Game Boy, which was like my holy grail. And um, I'd wanted one for ages, finally got one, with the intentions of modding it. But unfortunately... The mod kits are very expensive and I just haven't been in a position to be able to get one. And of course recently uh, Goodwin's Place did one. And so straight away I was like, oh I've been looking to, uh, to do my one. Like just out of curiosity, if you don't mind how much did it cost you and where did you get it? And he was happy to tell me like, you know, oh yeah I got it here and it was this much. And it worked out it's like a third of the price of what I'd been looking at. So... So he's very helpful as well, and that's the other thing. He's very happy to just help you out. He, he helps so many people out in the community. Um, he's just gone over a 1,000 subs, and rightfully so, he deserves it. Really good channel. I love watching his stuff. Um, and, yeah, you know, because I like fixing things, I, I, you know, I enjoy watching his videos. Like, you know, when you when you have an interest and, and you see somebody else who's really good at it, you're obviously going to be drawn to it, and... And so, yeah, it's very informative watching his stuff, and that's what I enjoy. The only thing I will say, though, is I just wish he'd do more videos, because I, I love watching his stuff. Like, he puts a video up every now and then, and I imagine it's probably because he's very busy. Um, I know for a fact he fixes a lot of things for people in the community. If they've got a console that don't work, they send it to him, he'll fix it. 
So I know that he, he does a lot for people in the community. So, you know, obviously he's a very busy man. He's, he probably works as well, so, or does work as well. So, you know, it, for me, it's just a selfish thing. I love watching his videos and I'd love to watch his videos more often. So, yeah, but he's great. Like, I really do like watching his stuff. So, so anyway, that's, that's all the thing, like all the channels I've been watching. And like I say, if you haven't subbed to any of them, the links will be below. If you're not subbed to them or you haven't checked out their stuff, go over and have a look. You, you won't be disappointed. These are all really good channels. I really enjoy watching them. And that's not to say that there aren't others. There are others. But I didn't want this video being like an hour long. So what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll maybe do one of these every couple of weeks. So so yeah, um, like I say, links will be down below. Just bang on a link. It'll send you over. Drop them a sub. You won't be disappointed. They're really good. They're all good for different reasons, but they're really good. So, right. So I'm going to leave that one there. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so that you're made aware of all our future videos and also live streams because we're probably going to do another live stream this week. If I have my way, we will. So, uh, yeah. So until next time, take care, stay safe, Nerdy geezer out. See you later, guys.